Welcome to Mr. Marr's 3 Minute History. Today we're going back to the time of the Cold War and we're looking at an event known as Détente. Détente was a period in the Cold War when the USA and the Soviet Union began to have better relations with hopes that it could even potentially bring an end to the Cold War. This mainly took place throughout the 1970s. So why exactly did Détente take place? Well there was a variety of factors that led to this. The biggest fear surely though was the overarching concern around the prospect of a nuclear war. In the 1960s, particularly the Cuban Missile Crisis, both sides had come close to both launching a first nuclear strike against the other. As a result of this, and in recognition of the millions of death it would cause, many people on both sides began to want to see an improvement in relations. But there are other factors as well. One of them was financial problems. Throughout the 1970s, there were various economic crises that affected the USA, the Soviet Union and the rest of the world. These made it very difficult for both sides to continue to afford the high military spending that they had, and so finding a way to improve relations would potentially allow them to reduce their military spending. The USA was also struggling during the Vietnam War and may have wished to see changes there, and in addition, the Soviet Union was concerned that China was a growing influence and they wanted to build better relations with America to counter this. There was different examples of detente between the two sides, but many of them naturally related to the military. Perhaps the most famous one became known as SALT, which stood for Strategic Arms Limitation Talks and took place in 1972. The SALT agreements included a number of different sections, one of which was the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, and this meant that both sides agreed that they would limit their nuclear defence systems to only two each. In addition, they said that they would limit the number of intercontinental ballistic missiles and submarine launched ballistic missiles that both sides had. A further agreement was reached in 1975, which was the Biological Weapons Treaty, where both sides committed to neither develop nor use these weapons. There were other examples of detente, though. Some of them simply related to positive relations. For example, in 1972, Richard Nixon showed a willingness to go to Moscow in order to meet with the Soviets and discuss ways to improve relations. The Soviet leader Brezhnev went to America the following year. At different times as well, both sides also reached agreements about trade, whereby they agreed that they would try and buy and sell more from one another, and this was especially important to the Soviets. And perhaps the most famous one was a space program link-up, when the Apollo and Soyuz space missions did a joint mission in space. This was a huge media event. Détente, however, could not last, and by the end of the 1970s, it had finally reached its conclusion. After the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in 1979, the Americans announced they would no longer pursue détente with the Soviet Union. This included actions such as America refusing to take part in the 1980 Olympic Games, which had been held in Moscow, and equally resulted in the Soviets doing the same when the Olympic Games were held in Los Angeles four years later.